Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my Happy Mail video. Yes, I've got a little bit of Happy Mail I'd like to share with you and ask for your opinion on what colour yarn I should use for a project. So guys, my first Happy Mail is from Barbara, um, a lovely friend Barbara in Florida. She has sent me this beautiful card of the ocean. I hope everybody in Florida is doing well after and the clean up to after Hurricane Ian is going well. I'm glad her, your boat was okay, Barbara. But yeah, thinking of you, this card is lovely with lots of lovely words inside that are personal to me. And yeah, this made my day receiving this. But there is a funny story. Reeves brings this home and he goes, you've got a bit of a card. And he goes, but I forgot while you were away, some happy mail arrived, another card, and I put it in the glove compartment of the car and I forgot about it until this one arrived. So there was also this card from Barbara from when I was on holidays, get well soon, because I wasn't doing great. I'm still a bit up and down, but yeah. Another lovely card. She always sends me lots of lovely cards, prayers and stickers. It's so lovely. Um, it makes my day and puts a smile on my face. He rarely forgets the mail. He said, I picked that up at lunchtime one day, put it in the glove compartment and totally forgot about it because you were away. But yeah, I really like the ocean one. It's really lovely colours. Definitely we'll have to try and find a card to send to you, Barbara, from here. So the other happy mail I received, I have opened and unbagged. It's this one from the UK, from Mouse's Makes, Amanda Jane Davies. If you guys remember and have been following me for a while, I was um, taking part in the Knit for Ukraine make along that Amanda ran, and I won a participant prize. She actually messaged me while I was away on holiday letting me know I had won. When I watched the video to see what I won, I had a bit of a smile on my face because I won yarn from my yarny corner. Oops, upside down. From Alex and Danny at my yarny corner. I won this sock set. Um, it is called Camping. And that doesn't really do it justice, but can you see the different colours in that? That is awesome, isn't it? Lots of purples and pinks with a little mini pink. And that was my participant prize for knitting with Ukraine. So I must thank Amanda for sending it all this way down under because not many people like to post to Australia because it can be a little exy, but it certainly made my day. Now, I have other yarn from my own corner that I had uh, one re Previously in a, um, a make-along, I did the shawl make-along with a man uh, with Alex. This was the sh one of the shawls I made, which is her pattern, Autumn Leaves. And I, I won a participant prize in that. And you could pick yarn from um, the yarn that they dyed in their shop. And I picked this one. This is called Ice Cave. And I really like the blues and the greys in that one. Now they're both four ply, they're both 75% merino, 20% nylon. So, now this has her old logo and that's her new logo with the cat. Stewie the cat I think it is, must be Stewie. But there you go. So my question to you is, I was watching a new channel for me that I had come across. She's been around for a while. Soxy Nana and she was showing things and referring to Socktober. I don't really know what Socktober is other than I think you may make a pair of socks during October and I thought with two of Alex's yarns and Alex makes lovely socks, amazing socks, I thought I should have another go. I've only ever made the one pair and it's time to do pair number two but I can't decide on which colour yarn to use. So guys, you can tell me which colour I should use. And the one that gets the most votes is the one that I will use for my second pair of socks in Socktober. I've got the pattern I want to do, inspired by Alex at My Yarning Corner. 
So number one is blue, number two is pink. What do you think I should make my second pair of socks out of? Because I just cannot decide. I love them both. If you let me know in the comments below what you think, and at the end, I'll total it up, and that's the next pair I will make. I can't guarantee they'll be finished in October, because I'm a pretty low, slow sock knitter, and I have a lot of whips on the go. So yeah, right now, Amanda Jane at Mouse's Makes has another make-along going. It's October something. I can't remember the hashtag, but it's to do with autumn and autumn colours and autumn patterns. So if you want to take part in that, there'll be a link to the video in the description below. And I can highly recommend if you're a crocheter, because there are a lot of knitted shawl patterns, you could make Alex's autumn leaves pattern. It is easy as, and it looks awesome. I took it away to Melbourne with me and wore it under my jacket. It just looks good. It feels good and it fits well. It is a paid for pattern. Now her and Danny have opened up a website, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I think it's for sale on Ravelry. I'm not quite sure, but it's not that expensive and it is a great pattern. I probably will make another one um, when I finish the Stephen West MCAL, which is about to start soon. So guys, that's it. One for blue, two for pink. Let me know what you think. So, until next time, stay safe, stay well. To all those people in Florida, Trish, Sherry's Bag of Holding, Trish the Knitting Lady, Barbara. There's so many of our Yarny sisters who live in Florida who have in some way been affected by Hurricane Ian. Prayers, blessings, I hope the cleanup goes well and you can move on and get back to normal. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.